The ending of the novel 1984 by George Orwell is relatively straightforward, but it is also deeply poignant and thought-provoking. The novel ends with the protagonist, Winston Smith, being tortured and brainwashed by the government of the dystopian society in which he lives. Despite his resistance, Winston is eventually broken and comes to love and worship the government, even as he continues to suffer at their hands. The ending of the novel serves as a commentary on the power of totalitarianism and the dangers of unchecked state power. Through the character of Winston, Orwell shows the lengths to which a tyrannical government will go to control and manipulate its citizens, and the devastating effects this can have on individuals and society as a whole. The ending is also a warning about the dangers of rebellion and resistance, as it shows the futility of trying to fight against a powerful and oppressive state. Overall, the ending of 1984 is a powerful and haunting reminder of the dangers of totalitarianism and the need for vigilance against the erosion of personal freedom. Totalitarian states are regimes in which the government has complete control over every aspect of society and individual life. These states are characterized by their strict control over the economy, media, education, and other aspects of society, as well as their use of propaganda, surveillance, and repression to maintain control over the population. There are several dangers associated with totalitarian states, including Lack of individual freedom In a totalitarian state, individuals have no personal freedom and are subject to constant surveillance and control. They are not allowed to express their own opinions or engage in independent thought, and any form of dissent or resistance is ruthlessly suppressed. Lack of political freedom Totalitarian states do not have free and fair elections, and there is no real opposition to the ruling party. This means that the government is not accountable to the people and is able to act with impunity. Lack of economic freedom In a totalitarian state, the government has complete control over the economy and decides how resources are allocated and used. This can lead to inefficiency and corruption, and can stifle economic growth and development. Lack of social freedom, totalitarian states often try to control every aspect of social life, including people's personal relationships, lifestyles, and values. This can lead to a lack of creativity, innovation, and individuality, and can stifle the development of a vibrant and diverse society. Human rights abuses, totalitarian regimes are often characterized by widespread human rights abuses, including torture, forced labor, and political repression. These abuses can have a devastating impact on individuals and can lead to long-term trauma and suffering. International isolation, totalitarian states often find themselves isolated from the international community due to their lack of respect for human rights and democratic values. This can limit their ability to engage with other countries and can hinder their economic and political development.